Okay, while this is working and we see that we're transferring the iOS back to the router, the actual router here, using X modem, let's see if we can go into Packet Tracer and do the same thing. Now, the only thing that is we cannot use X modem in Packet Tracer. Well, why is that? Because on the PC, you'll be able to see that um, on the desktop, in the terminal, there's no ability to send, there's no file send or transfer versus, with X modem a file, right? So even though we can hyperterminal in, there's no ability to transfer with X modem using the hyperterminal built into Packet Tracer. So what we could do is try to do something else. What we could do is try to recover the router's iOS image from this TFTP server over here, which is on, right? So what we'll do is we'll take, let's just go in the router really quickly and find out what version of iOS it's running. Enable, class, show, flash. And we can see that, okay, there is, it's the C1841 Advanced IP Services, right? So we can just copy this, right? We'll say copy. This is the file that we're going to need to um, recover. Now, before we delete the iOS on this router, let's make sure that we can talk to the TFTP server located at 192.168.1.254. All right, and it looks like success, we can, right? So it sees each other, that's good. So let's go ahead and let's try to delete that, um, that file. So we'll say delete flash, and it'll say file name, and we'll just paste that in there and hit enter. And it says confirm, and we'll hit enter. And that's good. So now we'll just reload the router, and we'll say enter, and you can see that um, right away it tells us, this uh, the packet tracer router, that there is now no operating system, right? So no operating system is left. Great. Okay, perfect. So we're in ROM monitor mode, and now we want to recover our iOS. I'm curious if physically, virtually, if we actually shut down the router, let's do that, and then turn it back on, if it will also maintain that there is no, um, well, and look, it did. So we're in ROM monitor mode. Let's put in a question mark, hit enter, and you can see that we've got, um, we've only got a few commands here in ROM monitor mode, uh, but one of them is this command right here, TFTP download, right? So with this command right here, we might be able to skip the X modem and be able to get the iOS image from this TFTP server into the router. Now, the, the difficulty with that is you can see that with no iOS, with no operating system, the router has no config file, and so the interface is down. So what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to configure the interface on the router so it can contact this TFTP server. So what we'll do is we will type in the IP address of the router, IP address equals 192.168.1.1, hit enter, and then we'll type in the IP subnet mask of the router, IP subnet mask equals 255.255.255.0, all right, and for the default gateway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the IP address of the TFTP server. So that way the router will think that the gateway is the TFTP server and it'll contact the TFTP server directly. So we'll say 192.168.1.254. Now the TFTP server is located at 192.168. 1.254. Lastly, we need the TFTP file. TFTP file, and then we'll just paste the name in there. All right, and I believe this file is on there. I didn't check ahead of time, but I'm pretty positive it's in there. So we'll hit enter. So now that we've done that, all we have to do is type TFTP and D 
and let's see what what was the command let's see here question mark oh no there it is tftp dnld tftp dnld and hit enter it says do you wish to continue and we hit y yes and hopefully this will work okay it looks like it didn't work let's take a look at why possibly it might not have worked let's go to the server here and let's just double check to make sure that the name we used was C1841-Advanced IP Services K9-MZ.124.15.T1.bin so this should have worked now one thing that could have held up this process from working is the fact that there is this switch in the middle so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to get rid of this switch in the middle I'm going to delete the switch in the middle and I will put a crossover cable between fast ethernet 00, zero and over here alright and now we'll try again We'll say TFTPDNLD and hit enter. And we'll say yes, we want to continue. And we'll see if we can make that work. Oh, looks like it's working. And OK. All right, that looks like it worked. All right, we'll type a reset command and we'll see if that worked. okay and we're back so we we're able to recover the iOS image from the TFTP server by directly connecting a crossover cable so that the router has no choice but to just talk exactly across the wire to the TFTP server to get the um, iOS image and of course we needed to get the information into the router I cheated by using this command line interface to do the commands but with a console connection from our PC, we could have easily done it with our hyperterminal connection because, as you can see, the hyperterminal connection is easily connected too. You can see it's the exact same thing, just smaller text. So that worked. Now, how about our actual router that we've been playing with? We'll look over here. We can see that it's still sending over X modem the um, iOS image from my laptop right here using TerraTerm, right? using Teratorm in a console cable hooked up to a 1700 router it's still sending it but it looks like it's working it's just taking a long time okay the iOS finished transferring with X modem and let's take a look at our Teratorm window here we hit enter and you can see R2 is there and it's been fully recovered we're back in action okay so um, I'm gonna save my config file here and I hope that was helpful